Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial and in this one we need to talk about the ring mod. And I'm not going to explain, I'm not going to go through the details of what ring mod is. I'm just going to teach you how to use this ring mod. If you want to know how ring mod, ring mod uh, works, uh, you can go to the web, to any website, looking on Google and you're going to find a lot of technical, beautiful just shiny information there that you can read. And on YouTube, there are, are some other, um, you know, videos that they will give you a very technical explanation. Now, in this case, I don't want to do that because there are all, there's already a lot of information going, uh, you know, um, out there. So why am I doing it again? So in this case, I'm going to show you how you can understand this, uh, this element right here, this ring mod from Bidwick. And okay, I'm going to use the spectrum and I'm going to use the test tone. Now, for now, I'm going to go and turn off the uh, the uh, the ring mod and I'm going to go right here and I'm going to use the test tone. So this one is going to give us a sign. And again, it's just one tone, a single tone. This is what we get from this. And of course, we can change the frequency right here if we wish to something lower or something higher that only dogs can hear. OK, so for now, I'm just going to go and leave it at maybe 1000. OK. All right, of course you can go gain up, gain down. So the trick is that the ring mod, in this case, what it will do, it will use an oscillator and it's a sign oscillator, just like this one. And so with this, what it does behind the scenes is going to listen to original source and it's going to create overtones by doing a math operation. Yes, a math operation. I know it sounds weird, uh, but you can see it right now. I'm going to show you. So for now, I'm going to go and I'm going to put this on 500, just 500, or maybe, you know what, maybe, no, I'm going to put it in 500. Okay. So let me just, okay. 501. That, that's cool. So I'm going to go with the mix all the way down and I'm just going to get this test tone. So as soon as they go mix up, notice that this happens. You're going to see something going on right there. So we are making now a blend of the test tone, which is this one. And then we are getting two more tones and then some overtones right here. But that's fine. But mainly we get this and we get this. And this is what is coming out of the ring mod. Now, the question is, why do we get them there? And why, you know, why not on some other place? So the, behind the scenes, this is going to do a math operation. The math operation is very simple. It's going to be, OK, so what is the fundamental, this, this the, the whatever sound you're getting? And then we are going to add or, you know, go and do 1000 plus 500 and we're going to put that tone there and then the other thing we're going to do this is going to do is going to say okay what what is 1000 minus 500 and i'm going to go and put it and put a tone there that's why when i do this the ring mod it's only producing this and then of course we get this but this is the fundamental so if i go and make a blend notice that this is on 1000 1k and if I go up and check the uh, the one that the ring mod is giving us, and it's doing the uh, it's doing the addition, it's 1.5k, right? Remember, it's 1,000 plus 500. So that's that. Well, that's why this is here. And if I go down, it's going to be 500. So it's five 1,000 minus 500. It's 500. So it's going to go to the 500 frequency and create that tone here based on the oscillator or the source that we are using. That's why we get this this sign and the single tone. So, of course, we get nothing or we get just the tones, but these are just two tones. That's what we get. And that's the math operation that it's doing behind the scenes. OK, so the other thing is going to do what happens if we change this. So, OK, so I'm going to go and I'm going to go to 1000 and notice that it's kind of a going. It's a little bit different, just a little bit different. Well, there we go. 1000. So remember, the math operation is 1000 plus and minus 1000. So 1000 plus 1000 is going to be 2000. So 1K, we are there. And then we go right here, we, we are in the 2K. So cool. Now, of course, 1000 minus 1000 is zero. So this is going all the way down. We cannot hear this tone because this is right down here. Now, what happens if I go to 1K? I'm going to go 1 5K. I'm going to go to 1 5 and notice that that is changing. And I'm going to go 1 5. So remember, it's 1000 plus 1.5, so that's going to be 2.5. So if I go right here, this one is on the 2.5, right there. That's the tone. Because remember, we are using the oscillator, which is assigned as a tone. So we get a tone there. And the other one 
is 1000 minus 1.5. So, what's going to happen? Because uh, this minus this is going to be minus 500. So it doesn't matter. When it reaches zero, it's going to restart and it's going to have a kind of a go right here. And the, the rest of this one, which is 500, is going to go and do it down. That's why we get this tone on 500. Because it's minus 500, but we don't have that. So it's going to go and create a tone there. So this is what the ring mod is going to do behind the scenes. It's doing this math operation and it's doing a minus and it's doing a plus. And of course, this is doing it on, given, on, on a given source. In this case, we get this oscillator by default, which is a sign. That's why we get signs, we get tones. If we are using a different source, then of course the sound is going to change because the sound, the tones we are getting are going to be a little bit different. And of course the sound will change. So the important thing is that whenever you go high, these tones that you get right here are going to go to high pitch. And whenever you go down, those tones are going to get closer to each other because of course Maybe 1000 plus 1 is just going to be pretty much the same thing, right? Pretty much on the same space. So as you go down, notice that it's going to start getting that. So we get this kind of a LFO oscillation sound, which if you think about this, is going up and down in volume. We get kind of a tremolo, right? So this is how this thing's behind the scenes. Now, of course, we are not going to use just the test tone to do this. We're going to use the sound. So I'm going to go and just, you know, kind of turn this off. And I'm going to go and play a synth right here. I have prepared for you. All right, so this is the sound. Of course, remember, we are using still using the sign as a source. So this is will matter in what tones are going to be creating right here. So I'm going to go and turn it on. And notice that since this one, again, is just too short, super short, we get this vibration. Can you see it? Can you hear it, actually? And if I go all the way... There we go. It's going up. It's a kind of a tremolo. And if I go faster, we get the tremolo. Now, this is because, again, we are going very slow amounts. Now, if we go faster, we're going to start getting more. And we're going to start to get this overtones. And there we go. We have the tones right here, just like we did before with the sign. Now, of course, it sounds like crap. I'm, I'm not taking that away. But now we know how this works, you know, how these tones are moving and how we can make the math and know where they're going to be, uh, you know, sitting. Now, of course, the trick is that you don't have to go 100%. You just need to do a little bit, right? Just a little bit. And you're going to get this kind of a metallic sound or this overtones right here if you go to higher frequencies right here. And if you go down again, you're going to get more of this vibration, this tremolo effect. So of course, this matters. Uh, this is, of course, it, it works. It depends on the sound that you're using. If I bring kind of a drums right here. Okay, so I got some drums right here, pretty dumb drums. That is the tones we get. <laughs> Let me go 100%. All right, so let's go lower. So that would be, you know, something that maybe you want to add. So I'm going to go. And notice the sound changes radically. We go lower. Now, of course, this is not the most pleasing kind of a sound in the world. It's just the way it is. But maybe you want to modulate this. You want to add a little bit of modulation. And that is going to give you some kind of movement on whatever it is that you're using. And you can use it as, sound, as a sound effect as well. Same thing with this one. All 
right? And notice it gives you kind of a dirt as well. So if I turn this off, it's much cleaner. All right. So this is how it works behind the scenes. Now, right now, the source that you get is going to be an oscillator. But if you want, you can feed uh, as a source whatever you want. Maybe you have a different tone generator uh, that it's not um, a sine wave. And you're going to get, of course, a different effect. You're going to get a different sound, of course. So, of course, uh, I'm going to leave that this to you. So you can, uh, of course, select whatever or create a track that creates a sound or a tone. And you can use that and just, you know, mess around with that. Now. Then you have all the things right here that could be important. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do Saturn just to show you how this works. So all the experimentation, this is something that you will need to do. Right now, you know how this works and what it does behind the scenes. So this is something that you need to try. So notice that we are not playing any sound, right? Nothing is going on right here. We are not doing a play. We are not listening to anything. And the test tone, it's off. So I'm throwing right here. Uh, a, fil a fab filter Saturn, which is, this is a saturation. And notice, we are getting the two tones right here, right? From the oscillator. If I change it, this is just going to change. So why do we get the oscillators within, you know, you know, inside the fab filter, you know, the Saturn? And then we get no output. So you have a source effect, a pre-effects and a post-effects. So the source effect, what it's going to do is going to kind of add an effect, in this case, a saturation, uh, to the original source. That's why we don't hear it. It's because nothing is feeding to the source. So nothing comes out. So whenever something go feeds inside of the ring mod, it's going to go here. It's going to be modulated. We're going to get the ring mod with the oscillator plus the Saturn, in this case. And then it's going to come out to pre, pre and post, uh, actually to post and then come out. So if I do something like this, notice that when I move this, we are getting different tones because this is uh, it's going to uh this is what it's doing, it's adding harmonics. Pretty much. This is what it, what saturation is. So when we modify this plugin, this is acting or reacting on the oscillator. And at the oscillator, it's uh, reacting uh on the test tone and we get something else right here. Right, but that's what we get. And if we go down, notice that we get the single tone, but now we get more tones. And this is because of the plug. And if I turn this off, notice this is a little bit different. We don't get all the other tones. Right. So now you can change how this works or how this sound by using a, an effects right here. So the other thing that you can do is, uh, let me just go and put it on pre. So notice we get, we get a different result. Right now, we are getting our test tone, this one. Notice if I turn this off, it goes off. So this means that the test tone will go inside the ring mod. We are going to be adding a saturation with the Saturn, and then it's going to go do the oscillator with the source effect, and then it will come out. And this is why we get this, right? If I add saturation, we are going to get it, because now the source contains on the pre a little bit of saturation. So, of course, the uh, the ring mod is reacting to that. So that's why we get the pre. And that's why it's pre, of course. It's pre this, pre source. So then we have the other way, which is going to be the post. And this is pretty simple, since we can, uh, you know, add an effects here and add an effects to the pre. We can, of course, add an effects to whatever comes out. And this is uh, kind of a, the same thing than doing kind of a like this, just putting that behind. But of course, it's a little bit different because we don't have a mix, right? We are just adding it to the global mix. So it's going to be pre-gain and pre-mix pretty much. Actually, pre-mix. Right. So that's why it's post. Now, all of this, you know, you just use it if you want to. And now, of course, the experimentation is completely up to you to feed different sources, maybe feed some different oscillation from a synth. That's something that you can do and uh, just just play with this. Now, of course, this is not 
like uh, is gonna make or break your track but this is something that you can do you can use to add a little bit of more you know a bit of different sound just a different characteristic maybe a little bit of movement if we go to low frequencies all right it's just something else just a, a different tool you don't have to always use it so that's it hopefully you now know how how this works at least at least a bit with one because you have different types of ring mods but at least you know now you know how this works and maybe in the future you're gonna say oh you know what i'm gonna use the ring mod because i know what it does so that's why i'm making these videos hopefully you liked it uh, you learned something hit that like button subscribe and then just you know check the patreon where you're gonna get patches and a lot of things i'm preparing and i'm uploading uh you know each month